morning, as you see, we're coming to you from our oh, homes out of caution sound. over this coronavirus outbreak. President Trump says following social distancing guidelines is, quote, a matter of life and death, and we are getting that message. He spoke yesterday as the White House made a grim prediction that up to 240,000 Americans will die during this pandemic. Officials expect major spikes in the death toll during the next two weeks. Tony, good, goodness, that is news nobody wants to hear, and that's why it is so important to follow the rules. Yeah, that's that's right, Gail. And of course, this is a health crisis, but it's also an economic crisis. And today is the first of the month, and that means bills are often due. Millions of Americans now suddenly trying to make a decision. How are they going to pay them? Should they pay them? We remind you that the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, a federal economist, estimated that 47 million Americans could lose their jobs as companies affected by the virus cut their staff. Millions have already lost their job. And we visited one small business that had to cut most of its workforce. And we spoke with people there on both sides of that very painful decision. You know, I mean, I get it. This has never happened before. This has never happened before. Gabe Nell gets why his company let him go. But when we visited his house last week, he still hadn't figured out what to do about it. So April 1st, are you going to make a mortgage payment or not? Good question. We haven't even talked about that. At the start of March, just four weeks ago, his company, Corporate AV, was scheduled to handle lighting and sound for dozens of events this spring. Joe Gilderson is the owner. Before the virus, actually things were looking great. We were full steam. Uh, we had two probably of the best months we've ever had. Ever? Yeah, and we were on track for full spring season. Then the pandemic and bans on large gatherings. Every day I go to work, more jobs are being taken off the board. More, more jobs, more jobs. And then it was just like, OK, now there's a problem. Now there's a serious problem. Those jobs represented about $800,000 in revenue, roughly a fifth of what Gilderson expected to take in this year. It forced a question facing business owners across the country. With no money coming in and costs piling up, how many people to lay off? According to research by J.P. Morgan Chase, the typical small business has less than a month of cash reserves to survive a situation like this. It was pretty gut-wrenching, to be honest. Um, not a lot of sleep the night before, knowing what was going to happen. Overnight, corporate AV went from 20 employees to six. What was it like to get the call from Joe saying your position is not here anymore? Um, I wasn't. I wasn't surprised. Mo Johnson had worked for the company for more than 20 years. You got to do something. And my thing is, do whatever you can to save the company. Save the ship. We'll swim the shore, save the ship. When we get back on the ship, we can go again. But if the ship's not there, <laughs> you know, that's the problem. What kind of severance package do people get? Not much, to be honest. We had a week's worth of income, basically, to provide them. I think everyone in the group really said, listen, you got to keep this thing afloat. I need some place to come back to. And, you know, and that, I figure, is my job. So you still have one more check or direct deposit coming? Pretty much, yeah, which was today, actually, so. Today? Yeah, that's it. And then... <laughs> that's it. And now admits he's still processing yeah, the immediate shock of losing his job and his family's health insurance. His wife, Claudia, says they were already living paycheck to paycheck. If you could get a meeting tomorrow with leaders in Congress, what would you want them to know about what a family like yours needs? I think I would just ask them for a better sense of stability. You're just constantly worried about, like, can I make this payment? Can I put my kid, you know, can I get a doctor? Even before. Even before. And now it underscores how important those things are. Absolutely. Yeah. What kind of situation are you in in terms of money in the bank? Same as everybody. I don't really have a lot of money. They'll get help from unemployment insurance and the stimulus package. There may also be power in numbers. With so many businesses closed and so many people idle, there's hope that out of work doesn't mean out of luck. As a nation, you know, they can't say, oh, these people were degenerates. We kick them out or take away this and take away that. There's going to be some solace to it. So, so I believe that. They need to stop the mortgage payments. They need to stop all the 
phone payments. They need to stop all that for a couple months, at least 90 days or something to have people be on their feet, you know? Is it easier or harder to deal with this knowing that there's nothing you did personally to cause it? Well, I guess if there was a, a moral ground, then that would be a victory. But uh, unfortunately, that doesn't really help right this second. So when you reflect on kind of what you've had to go through in 14 or 15 years to, to kind of build something up and, and help all the people you, you like to think you've helped, uh, it's frustrating. And that right there is a microcosm of what millions of small businesses are going through right now. Joe Gilderson says he does hope to hire back the entire staff eventually, but it could take a while to ramp things up. Uh, this was supposed to be their busiest season, and instead they're looking at business not picking up perhaps until the fall. Uh, now, Anthony, I want to point out that this really matters for all Americans because most Americans, in fact, yeah. work for what is defined as a small business. So it's also important to point out that there is help. So the federal uh, uh, stimulus provided for up to $10 million in loans as part of a paycheck pro protection program for small businesses. And those loans are completely forgiven if it's applied to payroll. So small businesses can find uh, more information on that online, and the Treasury is saying that they will start approving and dispersing that money by this Friday. But one of the big variables is, if you've already laid off all your staff and now you're looking into an un uncertain future, is it too late already? Yeah, it's, it's so difficult for any small business to plan for, for any disruption. But one like this, which is still open-ended, we don't know when it's going to end, it's impossible. A lot of people are going to be going through this. All right, Tony, thanks.